Parmita. Okay, we had a, discussed the 10 types of Parmitas, if you remember. So, um, we had discussed about uh, Dana Parmita, Sila Parmita, Shanti Parmita, Virya Parmita, Yar Parmita, Pragya Parmita, and uh, these are the six. And then we had discussed about the rest, uh, such uh, Adithan, uh, such uh, Adithan, Metta, and Upekha. And we had discussed about uh, the definitions, uh, characteristics, uh, function, uh, manifestations, and Pachupatthan, that is the immediate cause. We had discussed uh, already in a very detailed manner, in an objective manner. So today we are going to discuss about, uh, and we have seen that uh, these 10 types of parvitas are necessary for um, getting a state of eternal bliss. A Bodhisattva tries to fulfill all these 10 types of Paramitas. It is net, uh, necessary that uh, all the Paramitas are being taken uh, all together in, uh, at one time, but any one or two can be taken by a Bodhisattva. But there are other things also for a bodhisattva. How, who can get a state of eternal bliss? So we are going to discuss that. What are the eight conditions for becoming uh, a, a Buddha, an enlightened person for a bodhisattva? For a bodhisattva, how whether they can get a state of eternal bliss or not, we are going to discuss in that manner. So you will see that how this Manusu Sattam, Ling Sampatti, Sathar Dasanam, so these are the four and the remaining also Adhikar, Chago, Parichag. So these all together, there are eight kinds of the conditions through which a bodhisattva can fulfill for becoming a Buddha. So we are going to discuss uh, one by one. So let us see, first is called as Manusha Sattam. And uh, I have given you the material related with the, uh, if you see uh, the Bhikkhu Bodhi, he has given in a very detailed manner, if you see, to, how he has discussed all things in a very detailed manner. We'll discuss one by one. So if you go through the Bhikkhu uh, Bodhi, then he has seen, uh, given that uh, these are the eight conditions through which a person can become a state of, uh, uh, can get a state of uh, enlightenment. So, let us discuss one by one that what are these eight conditions. So first is called as a Manusha Sattam. Manusha Sattam means that there is a Prani which is called as Manusha Sattam. So if you see that the, what are the conditions, then you will find that the first condition for becoming a Buddha is that a person must have taken birth in the form of a uh, human being. Manus Sat, Satoti Manusso. Manu, uh, who is Manus or who is man? That Manu Usadham iti Manusso. That a um, human being is that which whose mind is more elevate, elevated than other persons, other animals. That uh, if you go through the Melinda Pahyo, you will see that uh, what is the difference between animals and man. Animals have only manasikar, attentiveness. He does not have pragya. But Acharj Naga, uh, Nagasen, in Melinda Pahyo, he says that a man has a manasikar as well as a pahya, both. He has attentiveness as well as the right understanding. 
an animal does not have the quality to make distinction between the moral dhammas and the immoral dhammas but a manushya has the quality to or a, he has the virtue or you can say he has the quality to make a distinction between what is wrong what is immoral and what is immoral so in that sense it is called as akusal or kusala so in that sense it is called as uh, uh, manusya sattam so this uh, manusya sattam is uh, that only man can get a state of uh, enlightenment not any nag supan hathi or other persons even a hermaphrodite that is the napunsank he he cannot get a state of eternal bliss even a manusya satta means only the uh, male not women can get the uh, enlightenment buddhatva that buddhatva only can be uh, achieved by our uh, um, uh men not by women so this is called uh, if you go through that uh, only the man can get a state of uh, 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 that is the buddhatva that is the buddhahood not other one so uh, neither nag not supinna uh, even and there are other qualities also among the manushya also that a man must have uh, the chakravarti king also there are so many qualities which have been given in the text also that he must be having the mahapurusha lakshana mahapurusha lakshana means that there must be 32 uh, characteristics of mahapurusha and 80 types of anubhyanjanaj a person must have then he can get not all the human beings but only mahapurusha buddhavaj mahapurusha uh, you can say he was having 32 types of characteristics mahapurusha lakshana as well as 80 types of anubhyanjanaj so this is called as a manusya sattam and again in next is called as a ling sampatti sampatti is in the sense of in general sense it is called as a sampatti means wealth but here ling sampatti is in the sense of attainment of the ling that is the only men have the quality of the ling a not women so that is the quality has been given for uh, this is the second condition that a person must have attainment of the ling there are then if you go through that thus uh, uh, the 32 types of mahapurusha lakshana out of the 32 the 10th is that is the ling sampatti the ling sampatti means only the a person who has the masculinity only he can get a state of uh, a buddhahood not other one so this is the expressions that is and who can get abhinihar there is a, a, a conditions means abhinihar abhinihar means that is a person who aspires for getting a state of buddhahood abhi is in the sense of excellent special and profound so nihar means that is the a person who aspires in a excessive or a special manner so in that sense these are the eight conditions through which a person can achieve buddhahood so this is the ling sampatti and it is also called that uh, and uh, it is very interesting that the buddha also says that chattaro banna samsama hunti 
एंड इवन इन द मझिम निकाय बहुधातु कुसुत बुद्ध सीज दैट उमेन आर एज इंटेलिजेंट एज मेन आर एंड दे आर ऑल्सो कैपेबिलिटी टू गेट ए स्टेट ऑफ निबान ऑल्सो बट रिगार्डिंग बुद्धहुड there is another uh, that uh, there are conditions which have been made that only uh, who are having attainment of the masculinity only they can get a state of uh, uh, buddhahood so this is the case and uh, and uh, buddha uh, uh, praises the quality or wisdom of the women also as many times and he praises the uh, intelligence of uh, dhammadinna patachara uh, and other some of the nuns also at that time that uh, they are uh, as intelligent as the other bhikkhus male bhikkhus are and they are capable for a state of eternal bliss also so but here in that sense that uh, a bodhisattva who is aspiring for getting buddhahood there is a conditions that a person must have the attainment of the masculinity so this is the another and this is called in the uh, buddhavans atikatha also and uh, in buddhavans also there these eight conditions have been uh, the, explain in a very detailed manner in jataka katha also in supnipata katha also they have been discussed in a very detailed manner again in uh, hetu the third is called as hetu that here hetu is achievement of necessary supporting conditions hetu chasa pachayoti hetu that uh, hetu is in the sense of mulathena hetu it is has been defined that hetu or conditions are in the sense of roots also so even for a man who aspires and only succeeds for one endowed with necessary supporting conditions one who has achieved the requisite causal foundations not for anyone else so there are some causal conditions which have been given in the text also so i just give you that what are the things that he must have potentiality of the buddha bij in him also and dipankar buddha if you go through the dipankar buddha he was having and he, he, he marked the bodhisattva and he said that sumedha has the potentiality buddha bij and sprout buddha ankur to of becoming the buddha also so this is the you can say uh, hetu and in the text uh, if you go through the uh, text it has been discussed in a very detailed manner so just a, uh, that what is the hetu ling sampatti satha so these are eight have been discussed in a very detailed manner in the text also and uh, it has been said that uh, manusya sattam ling sampatti hetu satha radasanam pavajja gun sampatti adhikaro cha chandata these are the eight conditions which have been given for aspiring to become uh, buddha so first is the pavajja uh, sorry first is the manusya sattam that he must be a human being and second is the ling sampatti he must have attainment of the masculinity and third is the hetu fourth is the sattar dasanam that visualizing sattha that is the teacher in person and uh, for Uh, fifth is the pavajja that he must have taken renunciation or uh, having taken uh, ordinations into the buddhist sangha and gun sampatti that is the attainment of the quality this is the sixth one and seventh is called as adhikara that is the adhikaroti chago 
और छंदता इज द लास्ट कंडीशन दैट इज द एट्थ कंडीशन विच इज द ए विस और डिजायर टू बिकम बुद्ध सो दीज हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड इन ए वेरी डिटेल मैनर इन द आवर बुद्धवंश बुद्धवंश अठ कथा इन द सुतनी पात अठ कथा एंड इन जातक अठ कथा सो इट हैज बीन सेड इन ए वेरी डिटेल मैनर इन द टेक्स्ट ऑल्सो so here uh, if you go through the uh, that what is the manusya jati that it has been said that not other than manusya that is the human being that whose mind is more elevated and ling sampatti is the purush bhav that is the a person must have the bhav that is the nature of the masculinity and uh, even matu gam नपुंसक उभतो व्यंजन सो ए नपुंसक पर्सन कैन नॉट बी ए बुद्ध आल्सो सो ही हैज बीन इवन नाग सुपुण दे कैन नॉट बिकम बुद्ध सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द क्वालिटीज सो दीज हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड एंड व्हाट इज द हेतु व्हाट आर द कंडीशंस हेतु मींस दैट इज द कॉज what are the conditions they have been that is the hetu ti arhatas upnisay sampatti that it is the excessive dependent upnisay sampatti it is the excessive dependent of becoming arhat so this are what are the arhat if you go through the uh, text then you will find the four magg four phal that is the sotapati magg sagdagami magg anagami magg अर्हत मग सोतापति फल सकदागामी फल अर्हत सकदागामी अनागामी फल एंड अर्हत फल सो दीज आर एट काइंड ऑफ यू कैन से स्टेजेज थ्रू विच सो दीज आर कॉल एज हेतु दैट इज द कंडीशन सो दिस इज कॉल एज यू कैन से नाउ व्हाट इज सत्थार दसनम सत्थार दसनम इज द बुद्धानम समुख समुखा दसनम दैट ए पर्सन मस्ट हैव सीन द बुद्ध एंड ही हैज टू टेक एस्पिरेशन दैट आई हैव टू बिकम बुद्ध इन एनी केस सो बुद्ध दैट इज कॉल एज सत्थार दसनम सत्थार दसनम दैट विजुअलाइजिंग बुद्ध इन पर्सन हिमसेल्फ एंड बिफोर द बुद्ध ही हैज टू एस्पायर हिमसेल्फ दैट आई हैव टू बिकम बुद्ध सो इन दैट सेंस इट इज कॉल एज सत्थार दसनम सो इन द टेक्स्ट इट हैज बीन सेड इन द सुतनिपात अठ कथा दैट हाउ दिस हैज बीन सेड again in the uh, case of sathar dasanam that uh, it is the uh, a person must be in personal presence of the teacher teacher means that is the buddh also and the expression only succeeds when made by one aspiring in the presence of the living buddh so a buddh must be you can say present before a person before aspiring to become a buddh if buddh is not available a person cannot aspire that i have to become a buddh also so that is why maitre buddh we are saying that a maitre buddh will come so maitre buddh has taken birth at the time of the buddh himself 2600 years before and he has a, a, a seen the buddha himself and then he had made aspirations to become a buddha and he is in the process of you can say uh, getting a, a buddhahood and he is performing the paramitas dan paramita sil paramita shanti paramita and how many years he it will take to become a buddha nobody knows so in that process he is it is called as sathar dasanam 
and it is said that one has passed into parinibbana when met after the exalted one has passed into parinibbana before his shrine at the foot of the bodhi tree in front of a image or in the presence of the pachek buddhas or buddhas disciple this aspiration does not succeed so here it is said that if you go to the bodhi tree and you make aspirations that i have to become a buddha you can become and even going to the chatyaj or the temple buddhist temple or any to the disciples of the buddha and making aspirations does not make any success to become a buddha also so this aspirations only succeeds when made in the presence of the buddha so aspiration must be done in presence of the buddha for only those possesses a spiritual power adequate to the loftiness of the aspirations so this is called as you can say and what is the pavajja pavajja means aspirations takes only place after taking you can say ordinations into the buddha and nikham is an askarm renunciation from the house that is the after hearing the teachings of the buddha if a person uh uh leaves his house makes renunciation and takes a life of a recluse and then in the presence of the exalted so if one person who has make pavajja in presence of the buddha himself that only goes forth not other you can say either bhikkhu or some other persons so this is called as you can say pavajja and in pali text if you go through the pali text you will find that pavajja has been defined as pavajjati anagariya bhavo anagariya means that renouncing the household life and taking a life of recluse socha kho asane va kam vadi kriya vadit vasena vartati jatha sumedh panditas just like in the case of sumedh pandit he had renounced his household life and then he has taken a life and again the text says that so he sumedho naam taap so hutva panidehi panidehi meant that he had taken a bow pranadhi pranadhi means he has made a bow that i have to become a buddha so pavajja is that that we making ordinations in the presence of the buddha that is called as pavajja and then next is called as gun sampatti so here gun sampatti is the achievement of the good qualities or the noble qualities and this is the achievement of such a noble qualities as the direct knowledge abhiya there are five types of abhiya abhiya means intuitive knowledge abhi plus ya abhi is api iti atirek vishesh arth dipako that abhi is in the sense of excellent and profound uh, or special ya means that is the knowledge they are five you can say that is the um um this is that is five types of uh, that is dibh chakku dibh sot dibh ghan parchit bijanana and asav khayan there are five types of abhiya that is the dibh chakku means he has the divine eye he has the divine ear he has the divine you can say flavor he has the quality of knowing the uh, parachit that is the consciousness of others and he has the knowledge of asav khay destruction of the four types of asavas 
namely kamasav bhavasav dittiyasav and abhijasav so in that sense this is called as good qualities and this is called as gun sampatti another that uh, uh, this is the um, that the expression or abhinihar only succeeds when made by one who has gone forth who has renounced the household life and gained the eight meditative attainment samapatti there are eight samapatti that is the four rupajhan and four arupajhan these are called as eight samapatti and five types of mundane types of direct knowledge and five types of mundane type of direct knowledge that is the abhinya intuitive knowledge namely div chakku div sut div ghan parichit bijanan and asab khay yan so he must have if does not succeeds for one devoid of this quality if a person does not have any the uh, one of these quality a person cannot uh, get uh, success in getting buddhahood so again in the text if gun sampatti has been defined in pali as gun sampatti ti jhan aadi gun pati labho pati labho that it is the attainment of the jhan aadi gun gun means the qualities related with the roop jhan and roop jhan that is the eighth samapatti what we have discussed just now and again pavajitassa pi hi gun sampannas ijjhati na itras not other than only you can say one who has renounced the household life jatha sumedh panditas so hi panch abhiyayo अठ समापत्ति आभी हुत्वा पनिधेहि सो देयर आर अठ समापत्ति एंड द फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ इंट्यूटिव नॉलेज दीज आर द गुड और नोबल क्वालिटीज व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ए फॉर गेटिंग बुद्धहुड बाय ए पर्सन सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज गुण संपत्ति सो नेक्स्ट इज कॉल्ड एज if you go through the text then you will find that adhikaro so adhikaro is called as a chago so x what is the adhikar adhi means that is the uh, more you can say so that is extreme dedication or devotion you can say the expression only exceeds for one endowed with a proper quality so if a person does not have uh, bhakti bhakti means here it is not bhakti in the sense of uh, uh, you can say uh, making refuge before the almighty god but here uh, it is in the sense of bhakti that uh, here it a uh, person must have faith uh, uh, towards the tisarana uh, buddh dhamma and sangha and in that sense uh, this is the extreme dedication if a person who does not have sampasadan lakkhana sadha sampakhandan lakkhana chati he cannot have the you can say quality of adhikar so this is the you can say and the uh, expressions only success for one endowed with a proper quality who at the time of has such a strong devotion for the buddha that he has prepared relinquish his very life for them so this is called as adhikar so in pali it has been defined in the text buddhavans at katha that adhikaro adhikaro ti parichago atho that it is in the sense of a parityag परित्याग बिन से दैट ग्रेट डिवोशन व्हाट इज अ ग्रेट डिवोशन दैट इज द जीवित आदि परिचाग ही कत्वा पणिधितो सस इज्जति न इतरोपी पा दैट अपन सैक्रिफाइसिंग ऑफ वन लाइफ 
that it is in that sense that uh, for the sake of extreme devotion, you are uh, uh, giving your life to someone. This is called as adhikar. Jatha Sumedh Pandit. Sumedh Pandit has also sacrificed his body for the sake of others also. So in that sense, it is called as adhikaro. And next is called as if you go through the text, you will find uh, chandata. Chandata means a desire or a strong desire. And there is a desire which is also called as tanha. Uh, and then if tanha turns into an action or an uh, desire is translated into an action, then it is called as a balvati. Tanha or Balvati Trishna or a strong desire. And this, what is the strong desire? This is the wish for accomplishment. Accomplishment means to achieve the ultimate goal to become a Buddha. So one possesses of the appropriate quality. If a person does not have a strong desire, he cannot get to Buddhahood. So in that sense, it is called as Chandata. And in the Pali text, if you go through the Pali text, it has been said that Chandata Kattu Kammayata Sa Yas Balvati Hoti Chandu Kammayata Katukamyata. Uh, Katukamyata means a desire to do. Desire to means a desire to accomplish the, your uh, uh, work. In that sense, it is called as Chandata. Sa yasa balvati hoti. And when it becomes a strong, tasa ijjati, then it succeeds. Now, not other than. So in that sense, it is the chandata. And these are the eight conditions which are required by Bodhisattva who is aspiring for attainment of the Buddha. And only a Bodhisattva who is a man who can get the Buddhahood. So this is the eight kinds of the uh, you can say conditions which have been called as a avinihar or you can say the eight conditions for becoming buddha so this is uh, has been called is uh, in a text uh, that is manusya sattam ling sampatti hetu sathara dasanam chandata raga aditihi hetu uh, Chandata, uh, that is the uh, uh, that is the Chandata last minute. So these are the eight conditions which are required by a person to uh, become a Buddha. So these have been discussed in our Buddhavansat Katha, Jatakat Katha, and then uh, Sutani Path at Katha, as well as in Buddha once also. So let us finish here. If you have any question, we can discuss the things in a. Uh, we are still have five ten minutes. So any question, if you have a related with the eight conditions to become uh, a Buddha, you can ask. Rahul, any question if you have? Uh, means this eight condition is different from the uh, Paramitas. Paramita is different thing and this eight condition is different thing. Yes, sir. Paramitas are called as human values. These are the perfections which a param gatam iti paramita, which takes a being from the state of suffering to the state of eternal bliss. Just like a boat which takes a man from the one shore of the river to the another shore of the river. 
orbitals are just like a boat they are called as human values they are six or ten in number but these are the eight conditions to become a buddha not everyone can get the buddhahood so to become a buddha these are the eight conditions like there must be a person who is a human being only he must have the masculinity not women can get a buddhahood and uh, uh, he must have uh, taken uh, or he must have seen the buddha in presence and in his presence he has uh, taken an aspiration to become buddha and then pavajja gun sampatti that he must have renounced the household life and he must have attained the five types of avinya or at samapatti and then there is a other two conditions also like chandata and um, so these are the conditions to become a buddha these are not human values they uh, not everyone can relate not even nag supin or naponsak they can practice uh, they can become a buddha although they are performing parvita they can perform parvita they can purify their consciousness but they cannot become a buddha for becoming buddha there is a, that one must have taken a vow that i have to become buddha in presence of the buddha and then he had to uh, uh, perform the parmita or perfections okay, okay. after ha uh, any more questions if you have sir uh, what is the meaning of nag and supin supan uh, nag is elephant in pali uh, nag is called as uh, you can say elephant and uh, supin is also a kind of animal mm -hmm. i exactly do not to remember the english term of that but nag is elephant and uh, there are other napunsak napunsak mm -hmm. means a hermaphrodite right, that uh, he cannot be, take uh, aspirations to become a buddha also so that is the uh, more questions uh, even nowadays also people uh, the women are uh, striving themselves to become a buddha also but uh, even uh, in mahayan tradition also dalai lama uh, does not uh, uh, say anything about it that why women cannot uh, perform only thing he says that uh, if you perform moral actions if you do moral actions so based upon the resultant of the moral actions there may be probability that your mass uh, femininity may be changed into masculinity so for becoming buddha a woman has to become men uh, he must have the characteristics of masculinity otherwise he cannot see she cannot become a buddha so that is the quality you can say conditions which has been made by you so dalai lama also says that to the women also so you do moral things and we also know very well and in the shastras also that if a man has taken birth in the male form again in the next birth he has to take in the male form also a woman has to take uh, there is a charismatic you can say so if a woman are doing the you can say punya or merits they are performing moral dhammas and based upon the moral dhammas there might be a probability that a time will come that she can change her um, femininity to masculinity then again there are eight conditions also again 
she has to perform it uh, she has to fulfill all eight conditions here also manusya satyam ling sampatti satthar dasanam he she must have seen the buddhi in presence and in presence of the buddhi she might have taken bow that i have to become a buddha so it is not possible so buddha has taken birth 2600 years before and in his presence who has taken his presence there might be some persons who have taken a bow that i have to become a buddha and we know also that there is maitre buddha is likely to come and he will take a birth in the family of the brahman and he will take birth in the kasi so it has been said in the text also that who is going to maitre in which family like uh, uh, our siddhartha gautam he had taken a birth in the sakya family that he, he was uh, taken in the form of you can say uh, brahman kshatriya he was belonging to the kshatriya family but the next buddha who is going to become that is the maitreya buddha he will be a brahmin so he will take birth near by a brahmin family of kasi or varanasi he will in that he, the name of the place is also called as ketumati so the text defines all these things in a very detailed manner in the art katha if you go through the buddha vans art katha or jatak art katha these have been discussed in a very detailed manner in buddha vans art katha there is a detailed discussion about the maitreya buddha also in sanskrit text also like maitreya vyakarana in chinese available in the chinese or in tibetan there are detailed discussion on the maitreya buddha also any more question so we don't have this notes no no i have given the bikku uh, bodhi the whole booklet if you go through the all these things the perfections parmitas and after the parmitas there are eight conditions also do these have been discussed there there you have given the link yes yes link no i have given the pdf yeah. pdf pdf book parmi 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 if you if you do not get it just let me know i will send it to you again Yeah, no problem okay okay yes so now this is the last class of this our parvi we'll take up another topic in the next class next week okay thank okay. you very much any question if you have any uh, mamuru if you have any question or kokori kiko no no thank you i have no question today kiko do you have any question Yes thank you i don't have any question thank you very much so next time next week we will meet together okay thank okay. you very much thank you, thank very, you very much, much professor take care good night good night good night okay